We left Kansas City at 5 o'clock in the morning, heading east towards St. Louis to see the solar eclipse on April 8, 2024. The first leg of the journey went smooth until we started heading south of St. Louis toward the path of eclipse totality and ran into stop and go traffic for the rest of the drive. The traffic finally eased up about 1.30 in the afternoon. At this point, cars had started pulling off the road to view the total eclipse somewhere around 2 o'clock. We had seen the eclipse seven years earlier in 2017, but at this time I didn't realize that our current destination was the exact crossing point of these two solar eclipse paths. With just minutes to spare, we finally pulled off the freeway into a Walmart parking lot as the full eclipse was approaching totality. Nearing full eclipse, the daylight becomes very eerie as the shadows become darker and more defined, very crisp edges, while paradoxically the surrounding light becomes dimmer. Then there's a phenomenon of sunlight passing through the moon's crater walls and valleys, which creates little points of light around the rim, which astronomers call Bailey's beads. Then, full eclipse of the moon over the sun and nighttime darkness. The street lights come on, Jupiter and Venus become visible in the sky, Insects and birds head home and the air cools. and your jaw drops at the scale and magnificent glory and precision of God's creation. The moon being 400 times smaller than the sun and the sun being 400 times more distant from us than the moon and yet the moon fitting precisely over the sun. Meanwhile, the high priests of national education tell our children that this is all a random accident of chaotic chance. Um, no.